Hey, what is up everyone? It is Dimension here, back at it with some more Berserk manga readings. We are on chapter 301, and we are finally in the 300 f mark, and literally the last reading was just fucking crazy, dude. I was literally speechless most of the time, just seeing the panels, and I just couldn't believe what my eyes were literally looking at. Like, the art was just insane, the scenery was insane, and we're still, you know, the demons are still fighting each other on this battlefield. Griffith is still going to take uh, take on, you know, Ganishka or Ganishka's new form. I don't even know what the fuck to call Ganishka anymore. He's not even himself. He's a literal fucking giant now. And, oh my god, man, I was not expecting this. So, uh, without further ado, let's just continue reading some Berserk. Chaos. Oh my god, yep. The band of the hawk is still fighting the, the octopus, Ganishka things. I don't even know what the fuck to call them. Well, medium. My name's Sonia. So weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, Irvine's form is so weird. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I mean, it's cool, but it's also, like, strange. Get off, this is dangerous. Nope. In that case, keep your head down and hold on tight. Okay. Sonia! She's, like, riding him. Oh, what is he doing? What is he using for? He uses his hairs as an actual arrow. Oh, and I see, and they all splint out and kill it. Ah, oh, that's amazing! What the hell? Wow, he 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 instantly kills them. That's amazing. She's like charge. It moved like a ripple. And with this nightmarish spectacle as its backdrop. Ew, what the fuck is that bird apostle? Jesus. It spread farther and farther. This is so crazy. This is so crazy, guys. Like, what the fuck? These actual humans are helping these demons. They're actually saving their ass, too, because they get, they get into, like, really fucked spots. Wow, what the hell? Dude, what the fuck, man? This scenery. This art. I can't believe they're really working side to side with these demons. Like, isn't it, isn't it just crazy how the old band of the hawk was devoured by these same beings? What the fuck? Beasts and men, wolves and sheep... Holy and wicked, dream and reality, life and death. They were now hand in hand. Wow. Wow, what the fuck? Oh, how can this thing be? Humans and apostles, it's inconceivable. Yeah, literally, what the fuck? Apostles are heresy to the world of man. I infernal... Incar reincarnations via dark arts of those with extreme ego and desire they despise and are despised they ridicule and are ridiculed these twisted resurrected monstrosities met death at the brink of karma and now they fight alongside men not because they're forced to but in fact willingly man they hate and are hated I missed that speech bubble dismount one thrust on horseback and you can say goodbye to your lance Defend this position no matter the cost. We must protect His Holiness and the Princess. Please move back. You are in danger, Holiness. Because people fear the unknown. They speak the same words to one another. Because they fear the unknown. They distrust the words they don't understand. Because they fear the unknown. They believe in a doctrine. Because they fear the unknown. They reject other gods. People must cope with their world because of the unknown. Because of fear. They label outsiders. Paganism foreign languages, different races, all manner of social classes, everything that separates people is here at this place. And so is that which proves that all this is mere child's play, the ultimate unknown. Yet, why is it? My chest filled with... No, everyone here is filled with exaltation. What a radiant chaos this is. Seriously. And Griffith says to charge. Oh my 
my god. <laughs> wow, what a start to these 300 chapters, man. What the fuck? The flight. This is crazy, man. What the fuck, dude? Look at this art. Seriously. Such sick imagery, man. Just look at all the beasts in the back. His army. The new band. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Here, more creatures in the sky. I think they're about to get stomped, aren't they? I don't even know. Right? I think that was Ganushka's foot. They're all looking up now. Yep, that's the foot. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Jesus. This dude really said, I, I'm gonna head out. What the hell? This dude could take out, like, the whole army if he just stomps on them. What the fuck? Oh, something came out of the, the smoke. Zod. This art, man. Holy fuck. This dude is really just standing on top of Zod. What the fuck? This is beautiful. I still like guts on top of him, but Griffith looks fucking cool too. Just look at the way Zod is drawn, man. Oh my god. Oh, look at look what he has to go through. These like hands, I don't even know what the fuck to call them. They're like tentacles. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Such a cool scenery, man. What is that? Is this the top? There's like a little dip in his head. And here's Griffith. Le, le. What the fuck? Oh, Roxas was here. Okay. He's going to the center. Ugh. <laughs> what the fuck? Backlighting. Oh, someone choked on some poisoned wine or something? I don't even know. My mother dotted upon my younger brother. And to ensure that he took the throne, she poisoned me when I was six. Oh, shit. After I did away with my brother and my mother, cast herself down, nothing changed. The royalty and aristocracy in the, in the palace would sometimes show hostility, sometimes feign support as they plotted to kill me, the prince. I survived that den of vipers. And the things that met the serpent prince's eyes from the throne were the king's eyes filled with fear and suspicion while on a royal visit. The king was dr thrown to his death when his mouth suddenly went berserk. Fuck. But, I, but though I ascended to the throne, I knew no peace. This young snake king of a small kingdom had keen ears. The dragons of the warring nations were lying in wait. To survive, I devoted myself, mind, and soul to war. The viper-like cunning and composure I cultivated since ho uh, childhood allowed me to cheat death many times. I had to inspire fear, fear far greater than my own. As was customary with the warring nations, I took a wife from the royalty of a neighboring kingdom and even had a son. But with all my time devoted to war, I didn't have occasion to turn back and look at my family. No, I feared it. The idea of mother and child. For many months and years, I, I fought uh, from battlefield to battlefield, became a peerless dragon among the dragons of the nations. At some point, the ambition to reign supreme over the world possessed me, as if no amount of blood could ever paint over my irreconcil irreconcilable fear. I returned to the royal palace after several years to attend a banquet. And was poisoned. The eyes of my son looking down at me were fearful and turbid, as if reflecting how mine once were. What the fuck? 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a little more backstory on Ganishka. The Baylet. That strange stone was once presented to me by a stranger, a sadhu at the side of the road. And that's how he activated it. Wow. Life, the world, it's all darkness. In all engulfing darkness, you fear, you instill fear, you writhe and creep. Lightlessness, that is life. Light, it's blinding, I can't see. It's warm, but I can't touch it. I'll be burned. You can see. Because he who bears light exists in the deepest shadow. Holy fuck. Femto? <laughs> Femto's back? And it's within darkness that true light is discovered. The light is enveloping me. A sword? Baylet sword, that's, that's Zod, uh, <clears throat> what the fuck? I said Zod, but that's Skull Knight. What the fuck? What did Skull Knight stab? <sighs> this is some beautiful art. Skull Daddy is here. In front of Femto. Yo, this has to be one of the best panels ever drawn. Seriously. Seriously. This is just fucking gorgeous. You got Zod here on the right. You got Femto. Skull Knight pulled up. Holy fuck. He always pulls up at the right time. Amazing. There's lightning in the background. And literally Ganishka in the floor. What the hell? Oh no, did he just create a rift? Is that what happened? Ah. Uh, yeah, I think he just created a rift. I thought he stabbed Femto or something. Okay, I, I, my bad. My bad, guys. He's right behind him, though, with the sword. Here comes Zod. <laughs> oh, my God. But there's a slash. Wait. What the fuck, dude? I can't stop reading. Fisher. <laughs> oh my god, Skull Knight. He's actually striking at Femto. Now, I haven't seen Femto's power since the Eclipse, so let's see what he does. He's just... Taking it? I don't know, it's weird. Wait. Here's Zod. What the fuck? Oh no, he, I thought he got him, but the horse jumped away. I got scared. I was like, no way Skull Knight died like that. I was waiting for you. The one who targets the God Hand at the temporal junction point. The Knight of Skeleton. What the fuck? What is that? What is he holding? Is he holding the rift? You must have distorted space. Causality is brought to f fruition with this sword stroke. Once, one twice reincarnated, and the sword stroke which reaches still deeper into the spirit world have opened the door. Oh, fuck. Skull Knight and Zod are looking. Oh my god, now there's a bigger rift. This is amazing. Oh, what is seeping out? Holy fuck, man. Just look at the scenery, dude. It's a literal portal. Or it's that spiral thing, right? Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, all the beings are getting destroyed now. All of his apostles. Or they're like transforming into like the portal. What the fuck, man? What in the fuck? 
the sky. Yo, is everything changing? Is everything really changing? What the fuck? Look at the whole sky. Oh my god. And these people, they're just looking at it. Oh, what the fuck? They're like, is this their astral forms? Their ethereal forms? There's Sonia, Mule, all the members. Wow, even, even Silot is here. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Jesus, look at the light. Oh my god, what the fuck? Creation. It's a little like, what the fuck, man? What is going on? Like everywhere, like from any any side of the world, you could probably see it. It's literally like another dimension or something. I don't even know what the fuck was happening. It's literally like a whole, is that the world? I don't even know, man. Oh my god, it, it reached to the ship as well. Holy fuck. Everyone is transforming into the ethereal forms. What the fuck? What is actually happening, guys? I don't know how to react to this. What the fuck? Dude, what, what is this? The planet... It's literally engulfing the planet. What the fuck? What the fuck? A unicorn? Are the worlds converging? I don't know what the fuck is happening. Oh my god. Ah, the snakehead beast. I forgot what this was called. Um... Fuck, I totally forgot what it's called. It's a mythological creature, I'm pretty sure. Now, a lot more mythical creatures are coming out, man. What in the fuck? Wow. What are these, like, harpies? I don't even know. Jesus, but look at that snake beast. What the fuck? Fantasia. What the fuck? Yeah, literal mythical creatures are just appearing now. An actual dragon has appeared. Holy fuck, that is so cool. Okay. I think I'm getting what's happening. Trolls are appearing now. Yeah, the two worlds are colliding, right? The astral realm and the actual physical realm. And then like the, the planes where like these guys exist. What the fuck, dude? That's amazing. The spirits, the dead. Goblins? We're getting goblins now? Holy fuck. So much. A headless man on a horse? The headless horseman? Oh my god. Among cities... Vill amongst villages, cities, nations, and peoples, for centuries, for millennia, stories have been told about as about them as if they re they really exist. People fear them, yearn for them, yet cannot catch or escape them. This this thus have they gone on imagining this other half of the world, and it now lies before their eyes. Mankind's desire, Fantasia. This is glorious. Holy fuck. This is so beautiful. This is amazing. Look at all these dragons. Oh my god. I'm not sure what this is. Is this like a like a portal of orgy? I don't even know. I'm, I got a sensor then, I guess. Yep, yeah, it's it's it I think I don't think this is good. <laughs> Can't be showing that. I think Slan was in there, right? What the fuck? What is Slan doing here? And then we have Conrad, right? What the fuck? 
Oh, this is a direct reference. I know this guy's art. What the fuck is his name? Oh, that's amazing. He's a Renaissance painter. I forgot his name. I think this is the artist Bosch, right? This is awesome. This is amazing. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love that Mira did a reference to, to the Renaissance. It's amazing. That's actually amazing. Oh, here's Void. Holy fuck, man. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Volume 34. My eyes, my actual eyes, dude. Mirror literally mind fucked me. Like he literally fucked my brain. He's done this multiple times. And he did it again. He blew my mind away. This was fucking amazing, guys. What the fuck? We're continuing. We are so continuing. Volume 35. Okay. I'm not sure if that's a guy. I think that's a girl. I thought it was a guy at first. And then... Another ship... A ghost ship? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on, guys, anymore. I really don't. Daddy Guts here. What the fuck, dude? Wow, Berserk is just amazing. Seriously. The giant demonic beast transformation of Ganeshka was put to death by Griffith, and the swing of the Knight of Skeleton's sword of actuation turned Ganeshka into the source of... From which sprung a new world, the other the otherworldly light and wind that emitted from Ganishka's from Ganishka engulfed every nook and cranny of the planet. Thus did the world change. This new world was one in which creatures mankind had imagined and spoken of for generations suddenly existed. Oh dude, Fantasia's gonna be amazing. Oh my god. Fantasia arc starts here. We got to read Falconia right here, and then that's it. We're done with the Millennium Falcon arc. Falconia. This is amazing, guys. So it was to the help of both Griffith and Skull Knight to create this new world. I would have never guessed this could this this would happen. Like the northern tree of myth piercing the heavens and reaching to the ends of the earth. Like the eastern tree of sutra where the sage meets with enlightenment. Like the western tree of ritual signifying the reason of all creation. As if, as if it were the origin rooted deep within all mankind. It was like the very essence of tree itself. Oh my god it looks like the tree yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh my god. What is that? That building right there. What is that? Oh my god. Are those griffins? Yeah, it looks like Spartans behind them. Oh my god. Is this actually Griffith's kingdom? Is that the legendary city ha said to have sunk deep beneath Windham so long ago? Oh my god, is this how the city used to look? Holy fuck. I like how there's a lot of like um Roman architecture. You can see the um you can see the Colosseum. Uh yeah, you can see just a bunch of shit. You can even see the Vatican here. And then this oh my god, this is amazing. I gotta save this. What the fuck, Mira? You really outdid yourself. 
Is that the legendary city said to have sunk deep beneath, beneath Wyndham so long ago? No, it's too huge to be that. Majestic. It doesn't appear man-made at all. Well, perhaps that makes it all the more appropriate, as if it's the new capital of the new world, where the hawk shall sit and rule. It truly is. Falconia, capital of the hawk. Oh, it's Falconia. Okay. Falconia? Falconia, the capital of the hawk? Yo. The art. The art. Just look at all the detail in his fur, man. And then Griffith riding him. This is amazing. This is amazing. And he points forward. To his new kingdom. Wow, the beast that died turned into like trees. This is beautiful, guys. This is so beautiful. What in the fuck? Ghost ship part one. Oh my god, we are now in Fantasia. The Millennium Falcon arc was just amazing. I would love to speak with you guys more and more about what I thought of that arc. But I'll probably save that for another video. We gotta continue these ratings. But let me tell you guys. That was one hell of an arc. The way it ended... Griffith got his kingdom. Holy fuck. And now we have this new world. <laughs> Only Berserk could do this to me, dude. I am in literal awe of the actual masterpiece this manga is. Holy fuck. I thought I reached the peak of the Millennium Falcon arc. Oh boy, I was wrong. I was so fucking wrong. God tier. God tier manga. Mira is the goat. Holy fuck. Let's continue. Let's start this Fantasia arc. Ghost ship part one. No signs of any ships ahead. I mean, she's already way over the horizon. Never mind. Catching up to her, it's all we can do just to stay afloat. If you can't spot something by morning, you'll find yourself promoted to shark bait. Eek! Boss man, isn't it high time we gave up? We can't even make headway in these dead calm seas. And that's wor And what's worse, we're jam-packed with three ships worth of crews. There's no telling when we'll run out of food. They're also worked up. They might even mutiny. Ah, Honestly, that'd be a godsend. We could use the traitors as bait to catch sharks or something and kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Vindictiveness is what gives a pirate his vigor. I w we won't go uh, hungry if our bellies are filled with rage. In this business, you're finished once someone makes a fool of you. That blasted Ithian stallion. I swear I'll chase him to the edge of the world, then send him to Davy Jones's locker. We're already halfway there ourselves. Yeah, the ship is all fucked up already. <laughs> but boss man, wait, ain't you done yet? There's been strange rumors going around the ship lately. You know, ever since that strange wind blew through? Ah, that wind. Eh? It's true. I've been a sailor a long time, but never before had I laid eyes on the on the likes of that. It felt like something blew right through my very body. Since then, there's been reports of dead former crewmen walking on the bulwarks, or gigantic shadows crossing beneath the surface. Everybody's scared shitless with those rumors flying about. Feh, it's always the same with sea dogs. Ghosts, monsters, it's all superstition. But, but, look at me, I've lived the heinous life of a pirate for 25 years. Here I am, fit as fiddle. If those things really do exist... I w wouldn't I have been haunted to my death ages ago? <laughs> and they're just surrounding the bird again. Oh my god. There is something in the water. What in the fuck is that? Oh my god. It's an actual serpent. It's like a... It's like a water dragon or something. I don't even know. Oh, it got ate by something bigger. Okay. What the fuck, man? Oh, I hope we get to see a Kraken or something. That'd be so cool. And there's the boat. Jesus, dude, look at the detail. Seriously. Wow. Here comes the bird. Come on, you guys cut it out. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get it when she comes back. Oh <laughs> She's probably like uh trying to she's in her astral form probably. 
<laughs> oh my god, they really did shuriken like that. It's so fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. He's pecking at their heads, the bird. <laughs> oh, shuriken, look at her. Oh, she's waking up. <laughs> Don't mess around with the, my out-of-body experiences. Explain yourselves. It was just so easy, I had to. <laughs> she bonked him. The The artistic muse made us do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, she burnt them. Ivalera! <laughs> they, hey, they snuck in while I was taking a quick nap. I never guessed it'd be this fun. I mean, this tragic. Mistress, you have returned. Don't open that! Oh my. Is this a ritual for a new spell? Please teach me how to do, do it too. Oh, never mind. Those charred things must be sacrifices. Masterpiece. <laughs> and Casca's Ka trying to catch the bird. That doesn't matter. I have something more important I must tell everyone. Am I too late? Sure enough, it's the pirate ship that survived her battle. They sure are a tenacious bunch. How can this be, though? They're going on the seahorse in that heavily damaged Carrick. What trick are they using? Well, anyway, all hands to battle stations. Roderick. Well, pirates again. No more rocking the boat. Sorry, but I'm busy at the moment. You guests should return to the hold. Yes, but I must tell you something important. It's about those who are drawing near to the ship. Oh, the uh, the brand from Casca. They are something other than human. You mean to tell me we're about to face more monsters? Like what happened in Britannus? You must be joking. It's happening already. It, it, uh, it's been, it's all in a day's work for us, happens all the time. What's this all about? Yes, all the time. It becomes part of everyday life. Since, ever since that day, when that wind blew through, that's how it, be, that's how it's become, not just for us, but for all people. Anyway, they'll not, they'll learn not to underestimate, underestimate me. Bring us about to port. Open all port side gun forts, gun ports. Fire a continuous volley from maximum range. Don't let her get close. Wow, man, look at this boat. <laughs> that thing is fucked up, man. That thing should be dead already. It's still sailing. Oh my god, it's actually a dead man's ship. Did you sink her? No. That damn thing dove to avoid the shots. That's impossible. It ain't a fish. You're right. Those aren't people aboard that ship. It's like some kind of legend. A ghost ship. This is so cool, man. This is actually so cool. So that thing's actually a living creature. You can see eyes. What the hell? Sorry, but I might need your help with this battle after all. Sweet, you finally can get a turn. Ah, what a pain. Leave it to us. You're in good hands. Depending on what happens, we might need our guest in the cabin too. <gasps> Guts. Oh, he put on his arm again. Ghost ship part two. Damn, it's so cool how it's coming from underneath the water. I love this. The enemy's ship is resurface is surfacing toward the seahorse. Oh no, they're going to capsize us from below. Starboard the helm. Quickly. God, this is so cool. The art is just beautiful. Mira is one of the best. For me, he he's the best manga artist I've seen so far. God damn. Oh, here comes Shirake. Oh my god. She like fell on um <laughs> the Sidro. All hands, prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Damn, they're about to fight. I mean, I don't even think there's people on top on, on board. I didn't see any. Why aren't they attacking? Is nobody on board? Be careful. I sense a wicked odd. It's as if that ship itself is some kind of dark creature. Yo-ho-ho. There be a sharp lass. Oh, it's the captain? Oh, no, they actually have the crew. We meet at last. Your lordship Roderick, the sailing prince of Ith. We are the Bonebeard Pirate Clan. I'm Captain Bonebeard of this here Captain Shark Rider. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Ah, oh, we saw him at the harbor in Vertanis. Ah, do you know him? Maybe? It's a drowning pirate, I, sh I sink? Avast, nobody's allowed to say that. Some of you look familiar. Ah, now I remember you lot. Hi there. <laughs> of all the people, it had to be you again. You know, that's when it all this battle luck started. We had quit pirating and were working hard to do some honest business. Then you pilfered our precious cargo. Oh my god, he starts biting the wood? With tears in our eyes, we went back to pirating and now two of our prize ships have sunk. Everything was grand until you meddling kids robbed us of our very will to work. Should a grown-up be complaining to a kid that's pathetic? What is that, a pirate ship or a crab ship? <laughs> Workers ain't winners, that's what I say. I bet they're all lonely, incompetent bums. It's sad. Evil never triumphs in the end. 
It don't end there though. To top to top it all off, we retired from the being human uh, business too. Oh shit! What do they do? I fucking knew we were gonna get a kraken. Let's go! It's like a creepy kraken though. Oh, it's actually really creepy. I love I love how it looks though. I love anything that has to do with pirates. I'm a big fan of pirates. I'm pretty sure this thing's a kraken, right? Because I see a bunch of tentacles. Hopefully. Monsters, devils of the deep. The sea's crazy. Had a feeling something was coming, but look at those things. Now we're talking. What are those? Uh, slimy. They're really here. Hmm, no one truly knows what lies in the ocean depths. These are our new brethren. Yar. We may not be human anymore, but it turns out pirates and monsters kind of see eye to eye. Neither of us can ever snag enough prey. Damn. Oh, God. It crushed that dude, or it's eating him. Ew. Eat up me hearties. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, this is actually kind of disturbing. Oh god, it's actually really disturbing. Remain calm. Keep your morale steady. No, they're in a complete panic. I imagine they are. You could sail over the world and never encounter something like this. Men of the sea sure are a letdown. Ghastly things. It takes a real combat to, to up your skills. And we needed some. Anyway, we'd better regroup fast. It will take some time to fight off this many. Oh, is someone coming up? It better be guts, dude. They need guts. God damn, that, that, this crew is fucked. <laughs> Look at guts. <laughs> Look at guts. I like how he's thinking right here. That's actually cool. Yo ho ho. I eat up every last one of them. We're on a ghost ship and we need lots of nourishment. You can't get any work done if you don't keep your strength. They get destroyed. They actually got destroyed. <laughs> By none other than Guts, right? <laughs> this is amazing. He cut off like three tentacles. I agree. First, you need strength to work. And you need food for... Convalescence? You know what? I'm starving. Oh my god, he put the armor back on. Tell me, are these things edible? <laughs> As he stomps someone, oh my god, he's back. He is back, boys, he's back. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Guts, you're late to the party, son of a bitch, it took you long enough. <laughs> oh, it's so cool to see him actually fight these things. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, Dragon Slayer looking sexy as ever. And so is Guts. God damn, dude. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I love how this thing is supposed to be the Kraken and... Ah, oh, this is so cool. And literally all the blood is splashing on the crew. Oh my god, I almost cut... Uh, <laughs> oh, what's his name? Uh... Magnifico, right? I think that's Magnifico, or it might be just some other dude. It's more cramped out here than I thought. I'm only half awake. I might I might end up busting up this ship. Oh, God. Freaking guts, man. <laughs> he's drawn so cool here, though. He like He's really drawn really well. Wow. Shiver me timbers. How's this sword so huge? Who's this dog? Wow, he killed six monsters with only two swings. Hey. Whoever doesn't want to die better hit the deck. Oh my god. Mira is just blessing my eyes with his art. Seriously. Look how he just... I, I love these multi-shots of guts where he's just, you know, going through his stances, fighting all these... Uh, all these... <clears throat> I mean, how he's fighting with the Dragon Slayer. It's actually really cool. Love it. Love it. And literally, the pieces of meat literally make thuds on the on the floor. Look how easily he swings that freakishly huge sword. He hacked those monsters up in no time, like he's a water spout. Is that really the same guy who was nearly scorched to death? If he's still recovering, then your boss is really is incredible. You know he is. You sl to slay the monsters and save the people truly is ch chivalrous. Don't make those things tonight's dinner, all right? <laughs> the pirates uh, sh uh shivering and girl they were supposed to be our last m our meal what a sad joke it'd be if they ate us the main dish 
It's starting now. Wow, look at the crack, and it's actually showed itself. Damn, look at it. It's so ugly, hill. I like its design, though. It's very, uh, I don't know. It's very mural-like. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's huge. Too bad for you. Those things that had that had you running uh, to and, f and fro were actually this critter's whiskers. Take this. He's mad about losing those whiskers he loved. Oh, Guts gets his cannon. Oh, my God. He just blasts through it. Oh, this is so sick. And he gives it a swipe as well. Come on, man. Mira is spoiling us. This is beautiful. That thing is dead, right? Down it goes. Nice. He utilized the cannon's recoil. Awesome. Cannon spin splash. Oh, a special technique, huh? Looks like nothing's getting gotten rusty from the sea breeze. Oh, this is sick. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> amazing. No, not bad at all. I think we've gotten used to being eaten. But no, but no. We still have a... Too late. What? These guys are combat pros, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roderick, let's go. We had plenty of time to regroup thanks to you. The cannons on the upper gun deck can't achieve the proper angle of fire. All guns on the mid and lower decks aim directly ahead. Fire! And there goes their ship. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Solitarily, solitary island. Okay. Damn, dude. We got a ship battle. Cannons firing. Guts slaying the, the, the Kraken, technically. And now this ghost ship is going down. <laughs> Whoa, sea combat sure is the bomb. Wow. Quit it. Yar. Don't bust up my already busted up ship. Lashing the dead, that's what you're doing. I'll haunt you. This isn't that what you're here for in the first place? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you goddamn fools. Looks like you've gone mad. Uh, you've gone and made him mad for real now. Now your lives are nothing more than candles in a storm. No, Captain, it's a sunrise. What? Oh shit. Yo ho ho! Well then, gentlemen, we'll settle this next time. Not only is is he a persistent as a shark, he's about as smart as one. See you, ah, glub. What the fuck? You know, I just as soon as we did settle it. You're incredible. I've never realized you were such an insanely good swordsman. I've heard soldiers on land were all cowards who ran at the first sign of danger. You're an exception. You know it. I mean, we've been wandering around fighting nothing but monsters like those. We're monster hunting pros. Pros! Well, more or less, despite our intentions. Oh ho, what a monkey. A sea monkey. A sea monkey-chi. <laughs> Looks like I'm in your debt again. Just think of this as paying for our ride. <laughs> and the Sidra's just still spinning around him. But why did they turn into a ghost ship? I'm pretty sure last time they were regular pirates. Exactly, yeah. That was just a few days ago. And they even had those monsters with them. There's been something odd about the sea ever since that strange wind blew through. Captain, I have a report. What is it? Go fetch some more wood scraps and support beams. It appears to be multiple leaks. Temporary repairs may not hold through another battle. That sea slug bastard sure did a number on us. Number one, isn't there an island near here? I believe so. It's small and just has a has one rundown seaport. We'll stop there for inspection and repairs. Oh, there's a lady here? Okay. Whoop. We haven't set foot on dry land in a while. G ground. <laughs> this island's kind of gloomy and meh. What's wrong? Something isn't right. Don't you sense anything, Guts? Hmm, well, about that. This thing's been acting kind of funny ever since that wind. Really? It's like a wound that won't close. Like it's gotten too sensitive, so now it just feels numb instead. Well, I think I'll know if anything obvious gets close to us. Oh, that's strange. Is Guts losing feeling from the brand now? Or it's just, it's probably, it's probably been like, um, it's probably been exposed to so much uh, shit already. So I, I, I mean, it's probably worn down by now. Yeah. Um, is there something on this island? I thought so. I don't know anything for certain, but the entire island seems to be enshrouded by an ominous odd. It's probably best not to go to go inland. 
I'm sorry, but repairing the ship will take some time. We'll depart tomorrow morning. Uh, hey, let, let's hurry in the inn for some food. It can't be helped. Let's just do our best not to get separated. Oh, looks like I was a bit a beat too late. They'll scatter brain buffoons. Fucking Nisidrome Puck. Hey, you two. What does that even mean? Don't worry. Boys, islands, and, and exploration are like a trinity. Nobody can stop it. I'll use thought transference if anything happens. Fifteen men on dead man's chest. <laughs> uh, what a pain. Made it. <sighs> oh. Huh? What gives? I can see the whole damn thing from here. What a dinky little island. You could get all the way around before you know it. Look. Team member Dropy. A cave? Mysterious gigantic cave discovered on a solitary island in the remote seas. We have arrived. <laughs> okay. Now to make a torch. Look for handy pieces of wood, dry ones. I've got some kelp. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Oh my god, is this the other lolly we're going to get introduced to? That cave's bad news. You shouldn't go near it. Native spotted. Who are you? Oh, yo, she's quick. Hey, is that an elf? Hi. Awesome. You can see him? That might not be too odd on a remote island like this. Her face ain't down there. <laughs> she keeps looking at her chest. I've never seen one here on the island. Wow, he's so cute. That's what everybody says. More like he's a smartass. You must have sailed here on that ship. Then no wonder you don't know, but still, keep out. The people of this island consider it taboo to go in there. Why? Are there monsters or something? There's an old legend about it. It's where the sea god lives. The sea god? Okay. She has big ol' eyes. Wow. There's a kitty cat. It smells like fish. What a rustic uh, fishing village. I was hoping to get some food and supplies, but I guess not. It is, is it alright for this captain to be away from his ship at such a hectic time? Don't worry. My first mate can handle all that. Besides, as an officer of Ith, it's my, it's my very important duty to escort the ladies during their ty tiring and unfamiliar sea voyage. My... <laughs> For now, let's relax and eat something. You there. Is there an inn or a tavern in here? Uh. They just closed it. They're not even showing their faces. What the fuck? Dear me. Talk about shy. Or creepy. Always is in the sticks. Well? I cannot say with any certainty. It is like some faint, vague odd. It's covering the entire village. Hey, Casca. Ah. What is that? It's like an octopus thing. What is that? Okay, guys, we're going to end it here. Wow. Again, man, we're getting introduced to, I guess, another character. Um, This mysterious uh, girl. So she she's definitely is kind of strange. Um, I think she seems nice. I mean, she warned Isidro of the cave. So, I mean, I guess she's good. But... The sea god lives there. What the fuck is a sea god? Or what the fuck is the sea god? Um, uh, Very interesting. I'm pretty sure the group is probably going to search the cave in like the next couple readings. And I have no clue what that thing is or what the hell it even sounds like. But it uh, doesn't sound good. The cave is dangerous like the, the girl said. And the villagers are weird, man. They're not even like showing their faces. It's just complete darkness all around. And... I don't know. Shirke said there's a mysterious odd or surrounding, you know, the whole island. So something weird is happening here. But um, we already know the world has changed itself. And, you know, uh, fuck, dude, that's, I think it's crazy how now this 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 whole world of fantasy is coming to life in the Fantasia arc now. And it's it's awesome. It really is awesome. I love I love I love seeing mythical creatures and and uh, getting to see, you know, um, the ghost ship, the um, the Kraken. And just other creatures as well, you know, they just started appearing, and it's 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 awesome. It really is awesome, and uh, yeah, you know, Fantasia arc is already looking promising. I'm really liking it so far, and wow, man, uh, Berserk has been just fucking great. It's it's literally just been just just literally perfection after perf. It's literally just been amazing after amazing getting more amazing and then getting fucking crazy and then getting amazing and then it's literally just back and forth of of just literal just 
awesomeness. It's just so good. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed this reading, man. I'm so glad we're finally going to almost catch up to the Berserk manga readings, man. And our journey is almost coming to an end, man. It's kind of sad, but oh, man, I'm so ready. I can't wait to see what I can't wait to catch up, man. I, w I really want to know more. But uh, I think I'm going to stop here at, at chapter 311. And uh, next chapter, we'll find out what that uh, octopus thing was is that they saw. And we'll just see um, where we go from there. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please do uh, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you have any other suggestions. Or if you're just enjoying the Berserk manga readings, just leave it down below, guys. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, take care and peace.